Oh my god, for f sake. That is right. Last week we discussed that there were X cheer farming hard drives that were being modified and reintroduced into the market. And largely it was the Exos series drives that were being targeted thanks to a report over on Heiss. Um, and they were detailing that lots and lots of drives were having their firmware modified to show that they were pretending to be new. They'd been reintroduced into the supply chain and being sold to end users who, upon even a light bit of investigation, finding out that these drives were in fact more than five years old with thousands of hours of runtime on them. Now we've already covered this at length along with multiple methods to identify and double check your drives last week in the video, which I'll link below and some updated comments and updated methodology as well in both the linked article and in the description. But on top of that, just like we mildly hypothesized in the video, it hasn't stopped there. And it turns out now we're seeing raised reports again, thanks to Heiss for staying on top of this, that Seagate Ironwolf Pro drives are now appearing on the radar to have had their firmware modified and they are used drives being sold as new. And we're gonna go through a few of the things you need to be looking for if you have purchased drives in the last 18 months to two years, uh, but straight away, First thing to look at is knocks and marks around the drive. This isn't an impacted drive, by the way, but if you have bought a brand new drive recently, it might well be that it's your first set of drives. And therefore, if you do see marks or knocks on a drive, you might not immediately think that that's unusual. It is a very industrial grade product there. Now, in it's Iron Wolf Pro, it looks like they're saying the 8 TBs and the 16 TBs are the ones that have been raised at the moment. Expect that to get bigger over time. But if we look on the side of this drive here, I'll bring that close to the camera, you may see little knocks there on the side, little tiny impressions, if you will, marked around the edge of a drive. Now, a lot of that comes down to particularly larger drives as they go inside larger rack mount arrays there. And over time, the cages that they're in can push against them or just the metal scrapings along the side can make these small knocks. Indeed, if we bring that one even closer there to the center, you may see a light scratch there where this drive here has been taken in and out of different drive trays over time. So if you have purchased a new drive, double check around those screw holes for any knocks or marks before you do anything else. Next, get all up inside those SATA connections there. The drives that they are talking about now that are ex-used ones, they'll try and clean them up as best they can, but because of the injection, ejection of these drives in a lot of servers, the result can be that small amounts of dust, filament, or grooves or lines will appear on that SATA connector there. Hopefully, there's some better footage there on screen showing new drives versus used drives to give you some idea about what a pretending to be new drive will actually look like in terms of those SATA connections. Now, up till now, everything we've spoken about is about marks, grooves, scratches and more that are on the physical metal of the drive. These people that are trying to resell these drives that are old and do it as new can't really impact or change much about the physicalities of the metal around here without recasing the whole drive. And they can't due to the helium seal that a lot of the bigger drives have. But what about the label? Now, the label they can recreate. And that's where another where area you can find a couple of different signs to find out if a drive is moody. Now, because I haven't got any of these fake drives here, I'm gonna to have to rely on some of the images online. But one of the earliest indications that people are talking about is that the information here is not in the same alignment and is actually further down the drive. So I'm bringing this up on camera and I recommend if you have purchased a drive and you're concerned about being new or used pretending to be new, double check the product images and particularly on Seagate's own website, there are information and resources to how these labels are supposed to look and even other review sites or videos like this one that will allow you to look at modern drives and see the placement of the text on the images. But interestingly, one of the most subtle differences that you can find that isn't even to do with physicality comes down to the dates that are printed on these drives. The majority of drives that you buy, particularly from Seagate, but most uh, manufacturers, I would say, do have a production date on them. Now, what we're finding out, again, from that article linked in the description, is that the drives that are being resold as new when they're in fact old, is they reprint the label on a number of them, and on that new label, they are using a genuine serial number. And this 24TB has got the 21st of March, 2024. 
4. Now, when I look up that serial number, it actually shows me longer than the warranty period on that. It doesn't give me a five-year warranty based on March. So you can add a few months extra warranty length on drives as they leave manufacture, largely because these drives are going to be in transit, in logistics for a long time. Whereas the Moody drives that are coming out right now, some of the Moody drives have been highlighted, Moody meaning fake, by the way, East London, well done. These Moody drives, the serial number that's on them, because they know people are becoming aware of fake serial numbers, they're using real serial numbers from real drives they've purchased. So they'll buy one 20TB drive, for example, and from there, they'll use that same serial number that which they know is in Seagate system and use it across 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 drives. However, as they're being sold along the line, the date that is linked to that serial number will be out of kilter with the one that's on here. So for example, once you get that drive and you enter that serial number, what you'll find is the warranty start date and the date that's on the date of manufacture will be different because the rest of the label doesn't change. And this last one isn't the most useful, I would argue, but it's still worth giving it a quick check. Any time you receive a Seagate drive, again, and you're wondering if it's new or not, regardless of the retailer, always look for the sticker on the base of the drive. The sticker on the base of the drive, that one will give you a serial number that matches the serial there at the top. Now again, no doubt the cloning and the, the fake out of the labels on these will factor in putting that label there at the bottom. But Crucially, not all of them. And some of the first waves of the Exos drives that were recognized that the Moody serial numbers didn't even have a label on the base of those drives. The result is that if you have purchased any drives that are already in your system setup, power down your system safely, and maybe just give a quick check if they're drives you bought a year and a half, two years ago, and just double check how they got that label there on the base. Now, realistically, everything I've talked about in this video are more about cosmetic issues on the drives or those that you can check without plugging in the drive. Of course, the best way to find out if your drive is moody or not and finding out if the drive is being lied to you as brand new or never been used is to access that smart data and compare it with the consolidated FARM report that we covered in our previous video. And there are directions to do it for different operating systems below. The main takeaway here is... If you've bought drives in the last year or two, take the time to quickly check. Since our last video, we've already highlighted, and we've had highlights from several commenters that they've realized they had drives that they've been missold already. And a lot of the reports going straight to Heist are where they are consolidating even more reports from, from affected users. Just take an extra few minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, what's it going to cost you to check the drives you've purchased are legitimate? Because the way these drives have entered the supply chain is still yet to be identified, and therefore, we can't just assume it's impacting Germany and Europe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.